Okay guys, so seven months ago, I made a review of all my tech. We're doing it again, because, well, seven months has changed. There's a few new devices that I really want to show you. You might have been saw them in videos, but there are also some new ones not yet shown in videos. So, let's start. The first device that I want to start with is this Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus glass back glass front aluminium frame is a really nice phone 2015 is when it came out it's old but it's still gold and it's pretty good it's got this nice edge wrap around display as you can see 16 megapixel camera with optical image and video stabilization up to 4k 30 frames per second which is pretty good led flash heart rate sensor and yep 5 megapixel front camera now is well You've seen this in a video, but you haven't seen it in a tech video. The Samsung E1170 phone. It's a nice feature-rich phone from Samsung, including no camera, I think a 1.4-inch screen, 1,000 milliamp hour battery, and more good stuff in that one. The next is my Chinese phone, which, yeah, I got a little crack in it. It doesn't really matter. But I made a video trying to repair it, and I... Scraped off this with the ruler, which was a bit of a dumb idea, but still. This has a removable back, a triple camera it claims to have, and a LED flash and laser at the front camera. But two of these are actually fake. These two are fake. You can see also the camera glass fell off from me, and these scratched because they are plastic. So... It proved that this was like a 40 megapixel. It's nowhere near that. I'm pretty sure it's like a 5 megapixel. And this is like a 2 or 5 megapixel. Okay. This is my Actel phone. Same condition, same days. Still working, still everything. 8 megapixel back camera with a flash. 5 megapixel front camera, our earpiece. I'm a speaker, headphone jack, microphone, and charger okay next phone is this HTC Desire X which I had from before but still this thing is gotten well destroyed well I know I know it is pretty broken up as you can see now we have the Nokia 6260 slide okay guys just a quick interruption but don't worry back to the 6260 slide removable back Nokia 6260 slide 5 megapixel autofocus camera dual LED flash BGA front camera only for video calls sadly nice buttons all around to make you enjoy and relax okay. next up is my tablet so this is my tab a i still have it still works like a champ it's a bit slow and laggy but she's still chugging pretty good okay five megapixel out of focus camera samsung logo and these little things for the smart cover case volume rockers power button whatever it's dead now i know the other video everything was like had juice in it yeah just, just made him whim fail. I'm getting squashed. Okay, this is my Galaxy Tab A, the smaller version, the eight-inch one. This was actually my first tablet. Then, well, I moved on to this one for a bit of time, maybe for a year. And now here I am with my A7 Lite, which I'll tell you about it at the end of this video. So, again, same bezel, same everything, just it's smaller. The camera is a tiny bit better. The performance is a tiny bit better, as this has one and a half gigs of RAM. This has two gigs of RAM. It's not a huge upgrade, but especially on these devices, every megabyte counts. Well, not a lot, but it does count, it does count. You got these, again, for the smart cover case. I don't know how this one had got the blue tech in it, but... This one is actually the earpiece one with 4G. It's unlocked from Telstra. Okay. Now the laptop. Who? 
Look at this. Tonight's Asus book, like the one from last time. I can't open nothing with one hand. Especially laptops that bounce up like this. So this is it. Nice keyboard. I know it sounds cheapo, but it's pretty good. You can see the residue from the stickers that were there before. Yeah, it's not in the best condition, but it still works. And it is a hot, ooh, hybrid tablet laptop, I guess. Okay, here. It's going to be one of my favorites. Not one of my favorites anymore because I've got my Octoplex and my Tab A7 Lite and some other new ones. So it's not my favorite anymore. But it is the second best performer and, well, the best looking one. The Surface Book 1. I know, you're going to be the one from 2015. I know, I'm using a 7-year-old laptop and a 5-year-old desktop. But still, don't get her wrong, she's a beast. It's got the surface pen, which I really love. Sadly, the battery run out. There's no way I'm going to look for a quad AA battery, but we'll see about that. Look at this juicy 13.5-inch screen. Before, I was thundered by this, but it's not super big now. But it is perfect for a nice laptop like this. Got a 5-megapixel front camera with 1080p Windows Hello and all that good stuff. Windows 7, it runs Windows 7, and it's got the second gen i5. Just joking, this has got a 6th gen i5 with Windows 10 Professional, the new model. As you can see, this is, well, the best keyboard that I have. It sounds nice, there's a good amount of travel, and I can type on this all day, that's how good. And this trackpad. I also love mice before, especially when I was using this and the trackpad was disgusting. The right side was the left kick, the right was the left, I don't know. But then, once I came to this, I just said, forget about the mouse. Although, yeah, for my Optiplex I have to use a mouse, but still, that is the best. All in rounder, second best performing, definitely the best looking, and well, the best laptop because I only have two in both of them. Well, this one's pretty garbagey. This one's good, but people obviously have way better than me, but still. My A12 saying hello again. And again, it's dead. Here we go. Quad camera setup for the 8 megapixel 5, 2, and 2. We got flash. Open it up. Yep, same case, everything. Yep. It's a bit dirty now, but I'll clean it up later. But still. A12. Now, just before I end this video, my tab A7 lights, as you cannot see it, but still, I do love this piece. It is pretty powerful, although it's a little underpowered, especially when I do editing and harder talks on it, but still, pretty good and a way better experience than those tablets. I don't think I could even get the download the app started on them. I swear it. They are pretty laggy. But they're still chugging. Anyways, we're more focused on this. Slim bezels. Nice to hold. Pretty powerful. For cheap. For cheap. Like 200 bucks. It was 250 when I got it. Which was quite a bit of time ago. But, but. Now they sell it for like $120. The value of this has become lost. I could have even got the A. A8, which is significantly better than this. It's got the big screen, the quad speakers, and for 175 JB, you ripped me off, bro. You ripped me off. There's so many better tablets than this at the price point. But still, I'll keep this for a couple more years. Hopefully, it keeps chugging like those, which is most likely going to do. But, yeah, no, no, upgrade. So, bye bye and peace out. Uh -uh. You forgot the Bata Boof. If you don't know what that is, the big beast. Yep, you're looking at a box right now. A box. Well, not any type of box. The beast. Oh, don't fall. Come on. Anyways, the Dell Optiplex 7050. 6th Gen i5. Well, you know, 
You might be saying, why is this more powerful than the Surface Book? Because it's graphics. The Intro HD 530 versus the 520 is significantly better. And the processor, 6500, is better than the 6300 there. And even scrolling through settings, this thing was at least two seconds faster than that. So in gaming and high tasks, this is a beast. Sadly, it does not have Wi-Fi. I have to use Ethernet, which I haven't tried out on the other videos. I did it with the Surface Book, the 4K video and stuff. But it'll be about the same. You could maybe play one more 4K or 440p on this. But still, it's nice. The parts is crazy. Already, you're thinking, um, it's only three US, I mean, four USBs and a headphone jack. Cool, you just rickrolled yourself. Four USBs. It's pretty good. You got a CD player and a headphone jack. But it doesn't end there. Watch what you have. Yep, I'll show you another video. But whoa! Look at these parts. The input part. HDMI. Two display ports. Two. Two of them. Yep. Serial. You can either put a VGA. Some people have done this. The pay is to. Ooh, USBs, six more, a total of ten USBs, and your Ethernet. So, this obviously makes it more powerful than the Surface Book, but still, I hope you enjoy my tech episode. And as always, stay safe, and peace out.